Okay. This painting is the seashore, and I have some tape on it because I wanted to make sure I didn't. This was a pour. I didn't want to get it on the sky, which I had done the other day. So I'm going to. This is still wet, but I want to get this off. Also, I have some stuff down here for the sand. I think I'm going to put some rocks back here and a, maybe a lighthouse. But I like the way this wave came out. I'm probably going to put a little bit of white around the edge here so it looks like the foam. I like the way that came out. The sky was also a pour, but I didn't like that, so I scraped the paint off. But I liked what was underneath, so I just left it like that. This is really cool. And the sand was also a pour, and then after I was done, I splattered some white and some uh, dark brown, so it would look more like sand. I like this, but there's a couple of drops here that I'm not crazy about, so I'll try and clean them up. It's interesting, anyway. Here is my finished painting. And I really like the way it came out. This is the first time I've done something like this. I wanted to do the painting mainly from the acrylic pores. So what I did is I started with the sand. In on that. And I used yellow ochre and a brown color mixed with a little white and just a touch of pink. And I did the pour on the sand. And then I let that dry. And I... Um, I splatted some white and brown on that so there'd be a little texture look on there. And when that was done, there's my little starfish. When that was done, I did the sky. This was also a pour that I used blue. I had to make purple out of red and blue. I have some yellow at the bottom. And after I did it, it was just like way too busy. And I knew I didn't want it com to compete with the water. So I decided to just wipe it off the paper towel and start all over again. But what do you know, when I wiped it off the paper towel, I really love the way it looked. It's kind of simple and still had the beautiful colors that I wanted, so I decided to leave it. Then I taped off the sky and the uh, sand, and I did the pour for the water using dark blue, uh, medium blue, and an aqua color. I put some silicon in there and spread it out. While it was still wet, I used some lines, like right here, of white mixed with a flow troll. And while that was still wet, I used a wet paper towel in the swipe and pulled it down so that you'd see that, that beautiful wave, the breaker, coming over. I was pretty happy with the way that came out, although I did add a little extra white right under there to let it pop a little more. And then along the bottom here, I added some white so that it would look like, um, like some foam. I added a few little white breakers here so it looked like little white caps in the back. Overall, I'm really happy with the way that wave came out. It's kind of chaotic looking, but you know, that's how the ocean is sometimes. And just for a little bit of interest, because I did not want to take the focus away from the wave, I went ahead and just did um, a rock cropping and um, lighthouse just in silhouette with a little bit of the sunrise hitting it on the side. So I like the way this came out. I'd like to try something like this again using a pour, but using it in a controlled way to make a landscape out of it, because if you've seen any of our past videos, 
abstract by itself is not my favorite type of painting to do. This, however, was a lot of fun because I had some control and other things I was not in control of. And I'm really happy with it. Very happy with it. That's it. God bless you.